Hey guys, it's Warm Connell 007 here, and I'm going to teach you everything about printing in Doodle World. As you can see, it's on the new route, and it's in this building right here. So, I'm going to tell you a few tips and hints here as well that should keep you right. But first of all, guys, on the left hand side, you have what's called your copier, which you actually put your doodles into. So, we can swap, withdraw, collect. These are the options you have when you're done. The maximum you can do is 20. It takes about half an hour roughly um, to get you the 20 tickets generally. So, as you can see, once you take them out, if you go to your bag, this will then go to your ticket case and then all the tickets will go there. Simple as that and you can see how many you have of each of them. So pretty straightforward. Um, not only that guys, um, there has been game passes added on to this where you can actually print tickets offline and also you can buy a second copier. Now the second copier just allows you to do two doodles. It doesn't speed it up as in like it doesn't do times two on your one. But if you want to print one off, all you do is go up to the printer like so. Um, let's say for example, we'll click on uh, Plippo here as an example. Um, oh, let me just check here. First of all, before you go into it, you want to check and make sure you've done all the tasks. Because if you haven't done the tasks, you will not be able to get a six star. So I've done Plippo and I've done Grodo. Very good, okay? So I know I can get a six star on each of them, okay? If not, you're going to be limited to five stars. So if I click on the Plippo, uh, gender, we don't really care about. Who Just leave that, who cares? We want to get a six star. So it's nice saying it's going to cost me 30 tickets. Trait, you can choose the normal or the hidden trait. Most people will go for the hidden trait, uh, depending on what you're going for. But say, for example, there's 30. So then straight away, as you can see, 65 is the number, okay? So for a hidden trait, six star guys, it's going to be 65 and it doesn't really matter what doodle that is. Um, not only that, if you go over here to June, she'll actually show you a list of moves that you can get. So let me just click on Clangatang here for a minute. Um, and you can see each of them will cost eight tickets. So the maximum you're ever going to use is 65 plus 24, that's what, 89. So 90 tickets would be basically perfect for what you can do. But again, guys, if you don't know what moves it gets and you don't, you can check the wiki or you can go to June and you can actually scroll down. So if you've already got a six star, guys, you can actually use this. This is really good. Whereas in other games, you'd have to like try and breed one onto another and have rally moves and all that nonsense. No, you can just click on this one. So you don't have to go change and everything. Not only that, if you're in PVP and you want to relearn a move, you can just go over to the move relearner. So this here has everything in one place that you need. Also, it is worth noting that if you haven't been in here before, the subway station's here. So if you want to go back to another route, you can simply go into here. So top tip, guys, what I will say to you is put your doodle into the copier. And then what I would suggest to you to do is put it in. Make sure it's the right one you have. Um, click end it. I would then go into your doodlepedia. And then what I would actually do is I would now start grinding tasks because when it's in there, you don't want to be sitting there doing nothing. You want to make sure you can start getting six stars. Plus, you'll get rewards for doing tasks anyway. So it is worthwhile. And what will happen is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, it'll tell you when your copier is full. Hope that helps. Hit a like and sub if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.